there is one really big tool that filmmakers overlook, and that is fog. Let's talk more about it. Right now what you're looking at is the Feng Shang 1500 watt fog machine. This is something that I personally bought on Amazon and this is actually just a generic fog machine. So this is a 1500 watt fog machine and that's the number that you really need to focus on. So if the fog machine says 1500 watts on it, then that's a good fog machine to buy. Most of these fog machines are generic, except for the Chauvet, which is a different type of brand. I think I'm pronouncing it right, I hope I am. But those are actually on the pricier side and surprisingly, this cheaper version of those more expensive fog machines does a really, really good job. Just take a look at this room right now. That was one little tiny burst of fog. But I also have to give thanks to the Fogworks juice. So this is a juice that I did a lot of research on. There's a ton of other juices out there, but this one is high density, so it's thick. So it provides you that really smoky, nice, beautiful diffused texture look. And there's different types of fog juices that you can get. There's high density, there's low density, there's medium, and there's completely different brands with different formulas of fog juice. This one is the most non-toxic that you can get. And because it's so thick, it will stay lower to the ground for longer periods of time. Now the fire alarms will most likely go off, especially if you have, let's say a Google Nest. Mine definitely went off and it's very loud, so make sure you take care of that in prep. However, if you have sprinklers, those will not go off since those are triggered by heat only. So a few cool features about this fog machine, aside from it being 1500 watt, is that it has a DMX compatible port. So you can control this with a board, and this thing also comes with both a wired remote and a wireless remote. Most cheaper fog machines come with a wireless remote that most people usually lose. And actually I had two other 500 watt fog machines before this one, one of them broke and the other one I lost the remote to and I was not able to replace it. They just didn't sell replacements for that thing. So that was really annoying. Luckily we have two different remote options on this thing and we also have that DMX port. Along with that, we can see how full the tank is at all times. It has a little leveler on the back and we have a OSHA cable which will power this unit along with a power switch. Now this is 1500 watts, so this is definitely capable of tripping your breaker. So make sure that your circuits can handle this amount of power. The fog machine body itself is made out of thin aluminum and it comes with a ceiling mount and a top handle. One thing you really have to be careful is the nozzle. The nozzle in the front gets extremely hot and it can definitely burn you, even if the machine is turned off. Now on the sides of the nozzle, we also have LED lights that turn on when you press or trigger the fog. So unfortunately, there's no way to actually change these lights or turn them off completely. So if you want, you can just block them off with pieces of tape. And strangely, the other buttons on the remote that I use to trigger the fog, they don't really do much because all this really does is cycle through the different colors. There's no way to just select a color and let it stick to that color. So I don't know why the remote has different buttons on it. It should just have one button. When you first plug in the fog machine, it takes about eight minutes to start cooking up that juice. And then the little status light on the wired remote will turn on and then it will start fogging up the room as soon as you trigger it you can see how thick this fog is. Now, as I mentioned, the Fogworks juice is really good for that high density fog, but because this is a 1500 watt fogger, you're gonna get more fog and less of it is gonna be thin, crappy fog that we see on cheaper machines. The effects of fog diffuse light. They actually also increase the exposure depending on the lighting that you're using. But if you want to create that grimy, dirty air effect, this is the type of machine that you would be using. Haze is very thin, but don't forget that you can always play around with the thickness of fog just by wafting it around the room. You can use a reflector to help waft around the fog and it should get pretty thin very quickly. Another big noticeable difference is that when you use fog, the blooms of lights are much more noticeable. So it spreads light further throughout the room. 
A common question you're gonna ask is what's the difference between this fog machine and let's say a haze machine? Well, a fog machine produces higher density fog. You're gonna see more of that smoky effect. However, this can also produce similar effects as to haze. All you need to do is let out some fog and then waft it around the room for a few minutes and then it'll become just as thin as haze. Also, haze machines tend to be more expensive, they're larger, and they may require more maintenance. On this thing, it requires that you flush it out with vinegar every 40 or so hours of use, so that's basically it. Here are some demo shots that I used with this fog machine. Here's some shots I did in my garage with the garage door open, I might add. So you can actually see how long the fog stays in the garage before it leaves it. And here's some cell phone footage of me showing you how thick this fog actually is. So not only can you use this on film sets, but if you're a DJ or if you plan a lot of haunts during Halloween, you can definitely add this to your events. One thing I do wanna caution you is that if you're living near neighbors, make sure you let them know that you're messing around with the fog machine so that they don't call the fire department. I already had a few neighbors get very scared, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Another question that you're probably gonna be asking is, what's the difference between using a fogger and those atmospheric cans that you can buy, let's say B&H Photo? Well, atmospheric cans, I'm a little bit worried about when it comes down to health reasons. I don't know what the risks are of using that product, but with this water-based fog, I'm pretty confident that even if you spend a lot of time around it, you won't really have any sort of reaction. However, if you do have asthma or any breathing problems, please be careful when using this type of product. Anyway, if you're thinking about spicing up your videos or your content in general, definitely consider using a fog machine for a lot of your shoots. I definitely love this thing and I'll be using it a lot more in my videos. If you're interested in picking up either the fog juice that I'm using or the fog machine itself, check out the links down below and I'll see you in another video. Peace. Now I know what the qu- Heads up, there's smoke in the dining room. The alarm may sound. It's going to be loud. Emergency. Ugh. There's smoke. In the dining room. That's one issue that you might get. Press to silence. Smoke alarm. Emergency. There's smoke in the dining room. Emergency. There's smoke in the dining room. Emergency. There's smoke in the dining room. Where was I? <clears throat> now, one thing I really have to give credit for for this beautiful fog is the fog.